Hello, I'm here today with Jerry Hanley, the Executive Director of Merlot. Jerry, thank you so much for joining us, and I thought maybe we could kick off our interview today with you telling us a little bit about yourself and how you get into the position you are with Merlot now, so we get to know you a little better. Great. Thank you so much, and it's wonderful to be here at the Mer uh, Sloan Merlot Conference on Emerging Technologies for Online Education. Um, as the Executive Director of Merlot, I, co I consider that my night job. Um, during my day job on the Assistant Vice Chancellor for Academic Technology Services for the California State University System. And then Merlot, Multimedia Educational Resources for Learning and Online Teaching, is a critical service to enable anyone anywhere around the world to find high quality online multimedia resources to help them teach more effectively and help the students learn. And an important aspect about the materials in Merlot is that they're free for anyone to use. And that really can help the affordability of higher education in a whole variety of ways. And the emerging technologies now can be available to anyone. And, and my, you asked about my road to get to this position. I'm a cognitive psychologist by training. And then when I began to look at how do we really enable technology to help the teaching and learning process and about how it helps people think and solve problems and be more effective in whatever skill they need to develop. That's kind of how I got into technology from an academic position. So I hope that's a little update that will be helpful for you there. That's great. So can you tell us a little bit about Merlot? I mean, when we think of Merlot, a lot of people comes to mind wine. Ah, that's right. And Having a good idea of what Merlot is could be helpful. Again, it stands for a Multimedia Educational Resources. So we think of it as a library for online teaching and learning materials. And so if you go to www.merlot.org, you'll see a website that will allow you to search for materials. We have over 120, uh, over 45,000 online simulations, online courses, animations, tutorials, all types of multimedia resources that you can adopt into your courses. We also have over 120,000 members from around the world who help contribute the materials into this shared collection of materials. We have tools to help you author open education resources. Again, those are free online materials for teaching and learning. And we have a whole variety of tools to help you get connected to a community of people who are concerned with quality education and using online resources. And that's really why we're so happy to be partnering with Sloan, is that our core missions are around enabling everyone, the learners, the teachers, the administrators, to be able to successfully achieve the learning outcomes for your institution, for your faculty, and for your students. So how can people get more involved with Merlot if, if they want to? Sure. Well, Merlot has lots of different ways you can get involved. The first thing you can do is if you register as a member, it's free to do. And then you can create your own personal collections. You begin with, how do you get involved? You can say, how can I get involved to help me in what I'm doing in my own teaching? So you can create your own little Merlot library that then you can share with your students very easily. Your students actually can become Merlot members. Over 30% of the members around uh, of Merlot are students because they need learning materials. You can also join our editorial boards. One of the things that Merlot does is we peer review as we do our scholarly materials and our research. Merlot has over 23 peer review editorial boards that ensure the quality of those materials in the collection. So if you have an interest in that, you can join our editorial boards. You can also um, look at authoring materials. So if you've created materials, you can contribute into the Merlot collection. And then Merlot really provides you a marketing tool to help other people discover the high quality material that you have authored. So there's lots of different ways um, that as an individual, you can participate in Merlot. And then we also, how Merlot works is institutions become our partners. And so for example, we have the Tennessee Board of Regions. And, and they say, we want to partner with Merlot because what, then what we do is we provide them services filtered through their institution to help provide affordable learning solutions, for example. If you want to reduce the cost of course materials for your students, that's an institutional initiative. 
How can you, f you kind of bring Merlot services into the Tennessee border regions to make it easy for their faculty to choose low cost or free materials? Or TBR, for example, also has a mobilization initiative. How to use mobile apps to enable teaching and learning to occur in a much more dynamic, effective way. Merlot created something called Ma Merlot, right, which is mobile apps Merlot, where you can go to the website and, and all you'll find will be mobile apps for Apple or Android devices, and we've broken it down by primary, middle school, high school, lower division, higher ed, upper division, higher ed, so, so, because, uh, so you can find it easy and help support the Tennessee Border Regions Initiative. And we have partners in Georgia and Oklahoma as well, um, and actually around the world. We have uh, in Chile, there's a wonderful institution called INACAP, 23 cam 26 campuses, and they're integrating Merlot into their program. We have another partner in Israel, a consortium called Metal, and they're using Merlot. And, and we have connections in India, in Africa, in, in Thailand too as well. So if you have an international interest, Merlot can help you get involved there too as well. Well, I love the, the mobile app piece. I mean, there seems like there's a lot of sessions here at the conference focusing on that. And students really want to have that mobile ability. So it's fantastic that resources. I do find that every time I go there, more and more resources are available and great ideas to either use or help with create different ones. So what right. what's the difference between Merlot and then Merlot 2 that, that rolled out? Oh, okay. So, so Merlot, um, we've been around uh, since 19... 97 okay and um, and over the years you always redesign your user interface based on kind of the needs and the technology and the interests and really the design standards that are appropriate for those times so Merlot 2 is a complete user interface redesign to make it easier for you to search people and things to get access to all the resources within Merlot so, so that's really the main focus of Merlot is really update that whole user interface and bring all the capabilities from authoring content to submitting content to discovering content to finding people to creating personalized collections for your own self or find people who are in your discipline. Literally with a click of a button you can get all that information at your fingertips. So Merlot 2 is really around redesigning to make it a user inter uh, easier user interface. Uh, we also created something called Merlot X, right? So Merlot www.merlotx.org. It's a student-centered website. Mm -hmm. So students are often looking for free materials. I might leave free learning materials, or what are, where are all the free open textbooks that people talk about? Merlot has over 3,400 free open textbooks, and right on that front page. You click free open textbooks, it opens up a website, you decide your discipline, pop, there you go, you get all the free open textbooks. Focus for students getting affordable access to content that they're looking for. So those are examples of how we're really putting multiple faces on Merlot for the different constituents, whether your faculty, your students. The Ma Merlot is a mobile apps oriented oh, um, group of people. So we're trying to make it easy for you to use these resources. Uh, a theme I have, and I'll stop yapping away after this one, um, is where our job is to give you a gift and not a burden. And how do you make emerging technologies really be a gift that people say thank you for, rather than, oh my goodness, now you're just giving me wor more work to do. So uh, it, this is such a fantastic resources that are out there and available. How do the awards process work? At the conference you're going to be handing out awards. Um, how does that work? The selection process, winners, those types of things. Great. Well, uh, we have uh, 23 editorial boards and each editorial board every year goes through the materials that were submitted that year and really selects their highest quality materials. So we have an evaluation rubric uh, that we've matured over we started doing peer review in 2000, so we have a 14-year mature process of evaluating content. So each editorial board um, identifies those high quality, and they actually vote on which ones that they want to put in their editorial board uh, awards. Uh, then we also have 
um, a, uh, I'll call it a, a, a distinctive service award, uh, people who have made contributions to Merlot. And, and this is where the past award winners of this distinguished service um, really votes on and recognizing who the next award winner will be. And we also have an Institutional Innovation Award. And, um, and this year, um, we have our, inter, in, our inst, uh, international partners who've just done an amazing job. I'll give one example of um, Inacap, our Chilean uh, partner. They have um, integrated the use of Merlot into their online courses and, and really focusing on students using these resources to help them get curious about the content, to empower them to teach and learn, uh, to learn for themselves and help teach their colleagues, their other students in the course, hey, did you know about all this information? They've just done an amazing job down in INACAP of integrating open educational resources that are free for anyone to use down in those institutions. So how does that work? Are they multilingual then or, or how do they... Um. Sure. So Merlot, we've built into all our user interfaces the ability to choose and translate Merlot using um, Microsoft Translator into one of almost 40 languages. But they actually have also created a Merlot Chile, where they've taken our web services, because you can, our, our technology services, and built it into their own portal, their Merlot Chile. And, and so it's a completely Spanish language chili. And we also have just an example. We have a, um, a Hebrew Merlot, the Maital uh, uh, Consortium of uh, in Israeli higher education institutions created a Hebrew language portal. And it brings in Merlot's services within there. And it translates all the materials in, into Hebrew. Wow. Um, and we work, again, you know, you can translate it into Hindi with our Indian partners and, um, and a whole variety of languages. And making things available in the primary language of the audience is really important to enable for them to have access to these things. So what does the future hold for Merlot? Any upcoming exciting things you can share with us? Um, sure. I, I think um, what I think is um, th there's been a few initiatives. One is we call it the Affordable Learning Solutions Initiative. Um, when you're looking at... Uh, the cost of higher education for students and the challenges they're facing, many of our students are choosing, in a sense, not to buy expensive textbooks. And I'll say in the Cal State University system, when a third of our students get enough financial aid, and that's, we have 450,000 students in the CSU, when 150,000 of them get enough financial aid to cover their tuition and their books and supplies, these, these students are on significant financial need. And so when someone says, I'm going to pay $250 for a textbook, when I've just paid my rent, I just paid my tuition, I have no money in the bank, they often do without the content. And that really puts them at a significant risk for being successful in completing their courses and graduating. So affordable learning solutions is by having faculty understand that there are no or low cost alternatives for choosing for course materials. And, and this is um, the University System of Georgia, the California State University System, the, universe, the Oklahoma Border Regents, the Tennessee Border Regents. Merlot now is providing these portal services, their affordable learning solutions, that allow all those state systems to really implement an affordable learning solutions in their own, um, kind of their own states, saving literally millions of dollars for our students. Um, I think another initiative um, th that we have going on really is around the mobilization side. Um, how do we provide easy access for educational mobile apps? Um, if you go into you know, um, an iTunes uh, store and you type in DNA, right? I'm uh, teaching genetics. And guess what you're going to get? You're going to get a men's magazine. You're going to get a paternity website and some other things about dating for people, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's not what you really want. But if you go into Merlot and you type in DNA, you're going to get genetics, educational materials. And, and I think creating these um, focus search services for people who are looking for particular types of information is going to be really useful. 
Um, and and I and I'll, I'll we'll continue the the international um, emphasis to provide um, high quality content for um, anyone in the world who wants to learn. Uh, well, we have a, the Merlot Africa Network, and, and eighty percent of the countries have at least one member who's a member of Merlot. Right, and and it's often done by word of mouth. Hey, did you find out about this? And someone tells someone else to provide access to the material. So I, all these are very, very exciting for us. You definitely have a lot of exciting things going on to really provide that access piece. And, and we're, we're grateful to the Cal State University system, which is really the main administrator and service provider, but all our partners around the world who contribute both financially and really their labor of love. Um, we have uh, again, 120,000 members of Merlot. We get about uh, 1,100 joining every month, and 15% of that total population of a uh, are contributing to the collection. And these are volunteers who say, "I found something that I think someone else could benefit from," and I think that's how Mer Merlot has grown over the years, and why. Even after 17 years when we started it just for Cal State system, it's now grown as something that people are enjoying around the world. It's just very exciting to have been involved with this since the get-go. So Sloan C. and Merlot have partnered for several years now to, to do this conference together. Why do you think it's such an important learning event that, that people come and, and learn and take part in? Well, um, one, uh, faculty instructional design staff, administrators, department chairs, deans, provosts, we're all facing challenges of how do we deliver a high quality education using technology to make that learning experience as successful and productive and effective and personalized as possible. And so we're all looking for answers and you have to go to a trusted source and Sloan C has tremendous credibility, the expertise of the community, the authority, in a sense, of the work that Sloan has done in ensuring research is driving the best practices. I think people want to go to trusted sources, and Sloan C really has that reputation for high quality support for professional development wherever you are in, a, in higher education. And for us partnering, you know, we're low partnering with them is around how do we bring a lot of these emerging technologies and resources to help enable people not only know how to do these innovative pedagogical strategies but also what content will help them do that if you want to now use virtual labs to be able to have your students do science in an in interactive dynamic way rather than cookbook labs how does that technology of virtual labs get woven into pedagogy. Merlot has a collection of virtual labs and now you need kind of the good instructional strategies I think that the Salone community can bring to bear. So that's why I think this partnership is working very well and we're just very, again, I think this is our fourth year of doing mm -hmm. the con conference together and it's just terrific working with the Salone Sea folks. Well, Jerry, thank you so much for spending time with us and filling us in on all the exciting things that are going on. It always amazes me how much things grow each year. Yeah. And, um, look forward to the awards lunch to see who's winning awards this year and, and all of the hard work that they've done throughout the year. Great. Well, thank you so much for having, and I hope you have a great time at the conference and, and that you'll make the most of making the world a better place through emerging technologies.